I wanted to very quickly show you uh, some different types of ionizing radiation. Um, I have got some americium here, uh, 241 out of some old smoke detectors. And I have also got a bit of strontium 90 out of a Russian Geiger counter. Now the background radiation at the moment in the shed is between 0.30 and 0.31. Uh, it's spiked up there obviously because I put the uh, Amaricium went over it a little bit there. Now, alpha radiation, uh, it is very, very strong when it is uh, close to the human body, but it is blocked, it can be blocked by skin uh, or paper or in this guard's pla a little plastic bag can block uh, alpha. You do not want to be ingesting alpha radiation. It is incredibly dangerous when you do. Uh, that's obviously with the radium girls. Uh, it just it completely messes you up. You will get cancer. You will get leukemia. It is not good. Uh, so what I wanted to show you was the difference between alpha radiation enclosed and alpha ra radiation open with with no obstructions. So what I'll do is first of all is I will put with the alpha window open uh, on my thermometer. You can see there we're getting about 10 or so microsievert. Now alpha radiation you really should be doing counts per minute or counts per second, which I'll do in a wee, I'll do in a wee minute. So you can see there that's what we're getting there. Now the difference comes when you take the source out so it's unobstructed. So what I'll do now is I'll take the little card out. And it's now complete. So there's nothing obstructed. Now, obviously the source will be a lot stronger here than it is here. So if I start up here, obviously you can see there's absolutely there's very, very little. And as we get closer, I'll go from about a centimeter above. You can see there, we're practically a millisievert. And that's all alpha radiation. So again, if I put that plastic bag over the top, from the same distance, 10 microsieverts. So I'll put that back. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do a little test with the radio scan as well. So I'll put the radio scan right up. And there you go. Very, very similar level to uh, what the thermometer was getting. Right, next. We will look at beta. So strontium 90 mostly gives off beta radiation. And uh, this is a very, very strong, um, it should have gone through a half-life by now, but it's still incredibly strong. So I don't even need to remove it from the plastic bag. So I'll keep it here. So again, we're up in millisievert range. And there you go, and that's all beta. So I'll actually, I'll give you a little demonstration to show you that the gamma is practically nothing. So. As you can see there, it's barely going above background. So there is uh, <laughs> literally no gamma coming off this at all. In fact, if you were using this meter and you were trying to find this, uh, you probably would go straight past it. You would have to be watching this meter very, very carefully to see the, the slight rise. So what I'll do now is I will go back to the Americium 241 and do a counts per minute check on it. So I'll turn the sound off for this. So we're on counts per minute. And uh, as you can see, it's very, very quickly going up. So we should get the multiplied by a thousand coming up soon. Okay, so we're up to 10,000 now, 11,000. 
15,000 coming up. Now this counts for one minute and then updates after one minute. So really the counts per minute, once this stops, that's the, the reading you take. So we're nearly halfway to 30,000 counts per minute. And from memory, there we go, 34,000. So practically, say the give or take, 34,500 counts per minute from that. And that's uh, predominantly alpha. So just wanted to show you these two sources because it is quite interesting, obviously, how radiation works. And uh, radiation is pretty mysterious and it works in mysterious ways. But listen, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope everyone's keeping safe out there and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.